Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is PMS, subject social studies, grade 7, lecture number 14. Chapter number 4 Minerals and Natural Resources of the Muslim World. Today we will do written work for chapter number 4. Written work will be about question and answers. So open your notebooks, you have your complete set of stationery. Question number one. Gold and silver are precious metals. Find out about their different uses. How are these metals are found and purified? Answer. Uses of gold and silver. Gold. Gold is gold is used in computers, electronic equipments, satellites, space equipment, computers, dental work, and in making jewelry. Silver. Silver is used in computers, photographic films, manufacture of chemicals. Solar panels, medicines, water purification process, and in making jewelry, cutlery, and silverware. I once again repeat this answer. Uses of gold and silver. Gold used in computers, electronic equipments, satellites, space equipment, computers, dental work, and in making jewelry, silver, used in computers, photographic films, manufacture of chemicals, solar panels, medicines, water purification process, and in making jewelry, cutlery, and silverware. How they are mine and purific, purify. So it's mining and purification. Gold is mined in two ways from placer deposits and from loud or reef deposits. Placer deposits are usually gravelly, river beds, or streams where the gold is mined and refined on site. Gold is mined in two ways, from placer deposits and from loud or reef deposits. Placer deposits are usually gravelly, river beds or streams where the gold is mined and refined on site. Loud. What is loud? A van of metal ore in the earth or reef. Loud or reef deposits are where the gold is found in seams. Now what are seams? An under underground layer of a mineral such as coal or gold. Of other minerals such as quartz. Quartz mean a hard, white or colorless mineral. Or sometimes with lead or copper. Lord, our grief deposits are where gold is found in seams of other minerals such as quartz are sometimes with lead or copper. In placer deposits, the gold is obtained through panning, washing and filtering. In placer deposits, the gold is obtained through panning, washing, and filtering. In loud or reef deposits, gold is extracted by power shovels, drilling, and blasting, and it is refined through chemical means. In loud or reef deposits, Gold is extracted by power shovels, drilling and blasting and it is refined through chemical means. 
Silver is also found along with other ores and two-thirds of the world silver is obtained by is obtained as a byproduct. It is refined through smelting, concentration and chemical means. I once again repeat this point. Silver is, uh, silver is also found along with other ores and two-thirds of the world silver is obtained as a byproduct. It is refined through smelting, concentration and chemical means. Question number two. Look at the variety of things which are made from oil. How many of these have you used or come into contact? Look at the variety of things which are made from oil. How many of these have you used or come into contact? Answer Quite apart from its important use as fuel, oil is the raw material. Raw material means the basic material from which a product is made. So it is a raw material for many other products. Quite apart from its important use as fuel, oil is the raw material for many other products. Crude oil is a raw material used to produce a variety of products including all type of furniture. Crude oil is a raw material used to produce a variety of products including all types of furniture. Lubricants for machinery. Oh, now, what is lubricant? This is a substance such as oil or grease capable of reducing friction. Cosmetics. It is also used in cosmetics. Bitumen for roads, roof and waterproofing. Bitumen is used in construction industries. Making tires gives extra strength. Pants, it is also used in pants. Inks, it is also used in inks. Fertilizers, what is fertilizer? It is a natural or synthetic chemical based substance that is used to enhance plant, plant growth and fertility. Dyes for all kinds, for cloth and food. Plastic of all kinds. I once again repeat these points, lubricants for machinery, cosmetics, bitumen for road, roofs and waterproofing, making tires give extra strength, pants, inks, fertilizers, dyes of all kinds for cloth and food, plastic of all kinds. Question number third, why do you think it's called not commonly used? Discuss the reasons. Why do you think it's called not commonly used? Discuss the reasons. Answer, coal is dirty and very polluting when burned. Coal is dirty and very polluting when burned. Its transport and storage are a problem as it pollutes the surroundings. Its transport and storage are a problem as it pollutes the surrounding. It is bulky and awkward to transport. It has to transport by rail or occasionally by road. It is bulky and awkward to transport. It has to be transported by rail or occasionally by road. The coal generally available in Pakistan is low grade. Only about one third is combustible. Combustible means able to catch fire and burn easily. Material so that it gives 
out relatively little heat. The coal generally available in Pakistan is low grade. Only about one third is combustible material so that it gives out relatively little heat. Depositing of residue. Residue means a small amount of something that remains after main part has gone or are being taken or used. Ashes is messy, mean, uh, mean dirty, and involves much work. Depositing of residue. Ashes is messy and involves much work. Gas and oil are much cleaner, more easily manageable, and easier to transport. Gas and oil are much cleaner, more easily manageable, and easier to transport. Coal furnaces need constant stocking. The smoke from burning coal pollutes the atmosphere. The smoke from burning coal pollutes the atmosphere. Question number four. A famous scientist once said to the author, Oil is far too valuable to be burned as fuel. It should be saved for all the other things that are made from it. Its answer is, oil is considered valuable because of its many uses and products. It is a non-renewable energy source, at least for foreseeable future. Hence, it must be used judiciously. Oil is wasted as an automobile fuel by people driving around in fuel-heavy vehicles. Oil is considered valuable because of its many uses and products. It is a non-renewable energy source, at least for foreseeable futures. Hence, it must be used judiciously. Oil is wasted as an automobile fuel by people driving around in fuel-heavy vehicles. Now it's time to note your homework. Write all these question answers in your rough notebook.